Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today we're going to be making some soft pizza dough. And here are the ingredients that we're going to use. So we've got 500 grams of plain flour, 2 teaspoons of sugar, 2 teaspoons of salt, 2 teaspoons of yeast, 4 tablespoons of milk, and 1 cup of cold water, and along with olive oil. So to begin guys, we need to add in the sugar into the water and mix that until the sugar dissolves into the water thereafter once the sugar is dissolved into the water then we need to add in the two teaspoons of dried yeast and mix that until that is well mixed within the water and the sugar As you can see guys, the yeast has no bits in there, it's dissolved well into the water, so it should look like that. Now it's time to make the dough. So we're going to add in the plain flour. And then, then we need to add in one, ta one teaspoon of sugar and mix that. Thereafter, we're going to add in some milk. So this is going to be four tablespoons of milk. Two and then we'll add in some oil olive oil. Now it's time to add in the water, which I put the dried yeast in and sugar in. So we add that in, like so. And then all you need to do is mix it until all the ingredients are well combined. After mixing all the ingredients, the dough should look like this. Shouldn't be watery, should be nice and light and fluffy. So now guys, we need to add in some flour onto the kitchen worktop. So the dough butter that we made guys, we add that onto the kitchen worktop like so as I'm doing now. And you just rub it in until it, it becomes really light and fluffy. So now guys, I'm going to add in a bit of oil into this bowl and then rub it around the bowl and then add in the dough into this. What, what this does is it prevents it from sticking. So we'll need to leave the dough in there for about two hours so the dough rises. Now it's time to prepare the chicken breast pieces. Firstly, I'm going to wash them. Okay guys, so now we need to chop the chicken breast to dice pieces, as you can see. Ok 
Okay, also, once all the chicken has been chopped into dice pieces, we need to add in some salt, which I've done, and now I'm going to add in a pinch of jerk chicken. And now I've got a little bit of lemon dressing with some sriracha sauce. You can put in any sauce you wish. And then just give it a mix until all the ingredients are well coated onto the chicken. Marination is complete. Okay guys, so make sure the heat is on medium to high and add in a bit of oil. I just put in a little bit too much, so I'm going to get rid of a bit. Um, spread it evenly throughout the cooking pan. And then what to do is we need to add it in the chicken, the marinated chicken. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it on the cooking pan for about 5 to 10 minutes, but ensure to keep on switching the chicken around and mixing it so the chicken is cooked from all sides. Adding a hint, time oh. to add in a little bit more chili sauce. Just a little hint. It's Tip. optional. This is if you if you, if you don't want to add in a lot of chili, you don't like it hot, then you don't need to add it in. But if you like your food Mix hot, you can add in a bit more chili well sauce. Combined with and chicken. Then you, you, you can taste the hotness and spiciness in there. So it's entirely up to you guys. Place lid and leave for ten minutes on medium to low heat. After 10 minutes, you can see, guys, the chicken is is it is ready. Like you can taste it to see if there's enough it's salt ready. in there. I've tasted it. It seems like everything's fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this into a bowl, and that's it. And the chicken's done. Chicken's done. So for the dough batter. We're going to spread it evenly in this tray, so to do that we want to prevent it from sticking so add in a little, little bit of oil in your palm and spread it evenly throughout the tray as I'm doing now. Now it's time to add the dough and spread it evenly as you can see guys. So here guys you can add in some tomato puree if you have any, I didn't so I've added in some pasta sauce and just spread it evenly throughout the sides but ensure to leave the sides of the dough plain, don't, don't coat them. Now it's time to add in the chicken that we made previously and now the vegetables so we're going to put in some onions, we're going to put in some red peppers and a bit of olives. You guys can add in whatever toppings you wish. And what lastly is just to add in the cheese. It, it'll be better if you use mozzarella cheese. But I never had access to that, so I was using grated cheese. Now, guys, make sure the oven's preheated up to about 180 to 200 degrees, and then keep it in the oven until the dough is cooked nicely, so it's nice and crispy. So after 20 minutes guys, this is how the pizza looks like. So okay guys, so the first base is ready. As you can see, I have put in a second base. Let's just see how that turns out. And here is the second pizza base, just wow, that's come out really nice. Guys, 
if you enjoy my content and you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to subscribe to my channel you can click on my channel logo to the top left of the screen thank you so much for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh